Hello, my name is Miss Fernandez, and we're going to be doing a few activities for phonics today. So before we start, I would like to go over a few expectations during this lesson. So first, we should be sitting upright in a nice chair or on the floor, wherever you feel comfortable. And second, we should be having all the materials to do this lesson. So I have a pencil. I also have a notebook somewhere to write at. Or we can print out the worksheet that goes along with this activity. Okay, so this activity is broken up into three sections. The first section, we're going to be talking about sight words. The second section, we're going to be talking about digraphs. The third section, we're going to be writing two sentences. Okay, let's start. So, the first section, we're going to be talking about sight words. So I'm going to be giving you three sight words, and we're going to have to write them three times. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to give you an example. So I'm going to give myself a sight word. So the sight word that I pick is we. So I'm going to write the word we on my paper, on my notebook, three times. Let me show you. This is where I'm going to write my sight words. We. We, we. I wrote my sight word three times. Okay, let's start. I'm going to give you your first sight word. The first sight word is can. Can we write the word can three times? I'll write it with you. Can, can, can. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Okay. This is how I write the word can. Great job. Okay, let's go to our second sight word. The second sight word is the. Let's write the word the three times. The. The. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Okay. This is the way I write the word the. Great job. Okay. And the last sight word that we're going to write three times is like. Let's write it three times. Like. Like. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Okay. This is the way I write the word like. Great job. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the second section of our activity. So we're going to be talking about a specific digraph. So today we're going to be talking about the SH digraph. So what sound does the SH digraph make? Awesome. Shh. Can we do that together? Shh. Awesome. So the digraph SH are two letters that are combined together and they make one sound. So digraph, digraphs are usually in the beginning of the word or at the end of the word. We're going to be writing words with both. Awesome. So we're going to be talking about six words. So I'm going to give you these six words and you're going to write it down on your paper. I'm going to show you what I mean. So I labeled my board one, two, three, four, five, six, because we're going to be talking about six words that have digraphs. So when we're spelling, we have to sound out the word, sound out each letter to make a word. So when I have a word, let me give you an example. If I have the word cat, k -a -t, I sound out each letter and I write each letter on my board. So, but with digraphs, we have two letters that make one sound. So we have to have an extra ear to listen for that. Okay, let's start. Let's write the word push. 
I'm going to write it with you. Push. Second word. Shop. Shop. <clears throat> Third word. Wash. Wash. Fourth word. Shit. Fifth word, shag, shag. And the last word, fish, fish. Okay, awesome. So now I'm going to repeat all these words again. Number one is push. Number two is shop. Number three is wash. Number four is ship. Number five is shag. And number six is fish. Awesome. Okay, so now in the last section, we're going to be writing two sentences. So the first sentence, I want you to pick uh, from the three, the three sight words that we did earlier. I want you to write a sentence with one of them. And the other sentence, I want you to pick one of the words that we did with our digraph SH. So one sentence with the sight word and one sentence with the SH digraph that has in the beginning or at the end. Okay, thanks for being part of our lesson today. Have a great day. Bye.